This is Pastor Phil Vickers from First Lutheran in Mission Hills, Kansas. I've always been a big fan of Ralph Waldo Emerson, and in particular, uh, this speech he gave once called the Divinity School Address. Actually, it, uh, it uh, offended the powers that be at the University at Cambridge, and he wasn't allowed back on campus for quite some time, uh, because they heard him to, to be uh, critiquing tradition. Um, but in fact, I think he has something a little more nuanced to say. I'm going to read you just a little section here. It says, Let me admonish you, first of all, to go alone, to refuse the good models, even those which are sacred in the imagination of men, and to dare to love God without mediator or veil. Friends enough you shall find who will hold up to your emulation Wesley's and Oberlin's. Oberlin was a famous preacher. Saints and prophets. Thank God for these good men, but say, I also am a man. Imitation cannot go above its model. The imitator dooms himself to hopeless mediocrity. The inventor did it because it was natural to him, and so in him it has a charm. In the imitator, something else is natural, and he bereaves himself of his own beauty to come short of another man's. Yourself, a newborn bard of the Holy Ghost, cast behind you all conformity and acquaint men at first hand with deity. Those are some important words for us uh, in these days as well, and that we can uh, deprive ourselves of, of God's calling in our lives uh, by comparing ourselves to other people, either people in the past or people who are alive today. Uh, we can talk ourselves into believing that what we have to offer uh, isn't worth offering. And, there, and when we do that, we truly, as, as Emerson very poetically says, bereave ourselves of our own beauty. We... Uh, we uh, uh, limit ourselves with our own limiting beliefs by not doing what God has put in our hearts to do, saying what God has put in our hearts to say. So cast behind you all conformity, as Emerson says, in this uh, beautiful Easter season. Get out there and do what you feel the Lord leading you to do uh, without comparing yourselves to others. Only you can give uh, what you can give. And uh, the church, the world, needs you, needs uh, what God has put in your life. Bless you this day and always.